Hello everybody, Steve Griffiths here, developer of the MT Predictor software program. In today's MT Predictor video, I'd like to take a look at the state of the world markets, particularly in the, the um, backdrop of the last uh, or the recent really sharp declines. But first, let's look at our risk disclaimer and remind you that all examples in this video should be considered as hypothetical. No trades are actually taken. They're just shown for illustration and trading purposes only. Remind you there's a risk of loss in trading and investing. This is even more important now with these volatile markets. It's so important to be careful and watch your downside and your risk because uh, with the volatility, you don't want to get wiped out. Paramount is capital preservation. It really is. So be careful. No matter what trading approach you do, there always will be losing trades. You have to be careful on that. Right, let's have a look on the YM. I want to update you from where we were looking at this with our customer training webinars over the last couple of weeks. I've gone back a couple of weeks now and just show you on this weekly chart. We had the rally up into the high and off that there's the last swing into the high and did a right mouse click here, did a decision point and I was talking about in our customer training webinar, this would be the first area of support. I also said that if this area was breached, then the next area was, if we go back to this previous pivot here, we right mouse click and DP, this would be the next area. And I seem to remember myself saying that the 2000 area was an awfully long way down, didn't know whether it would get to it, but that would be the next area of support if this was breached. If we turn training mode off, you can see, well, that's exactly what happened. The market went to this level. It went straight down through it, but look where it went to. It went down to our sorry whoops it went down to our next DP support level and that's where the market bounced off last Friday now of course the question being is is this level going to hold well that's what we don't know because the market um, makes a decision at these levels sometimes that decision is to go through it sometimes that decision is to make a reversal and all we know is we need to watch the shorter time frames once we get into these levels here if this level is breached well there isn't really any support here for a long, long, long way down. So, you know, that's the, the downside risk of this is there could be a significant decline after this. But we'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see whether support does indeed come in at this uh, level here. On the FTSE, similar kind of position. Here's the last swing into the high. We right mouse click. This is a monthly chart, by the way. And now you can see we're at monthly DC, DP uh, support. As with the, uh, the YM or the Dow Jones, if this uh, level is breached, well then there's significant downside risk after that. But we'll have to wait and see what happens and see whether support does indeed come in here. The DAX is slightly different because the DAX has gone through its last DP level here. And the next level would be the DP off this pivot, which it hasn't quite got to. You see there's not, not far off, but it hasn't got quite to that level. That's down in the 8000 level. So we'll have to see what the DAX does. If we look at a short term, shorter term chart on the YM, interesting what happened on Friday, because if I go back on trading mode to earlier on Friday, you can see again the same principle. Here's the last swing into the high. We right mouse click, do decision point. This is an area of support. The Dow actually came down to that level before it started to rally. If we then go back out, this is the last major swing down into this uh, low here. This is a major swing down here. If so we right mouse click off this pivot, this would be an area of potential resistance. Now, so that's on the chart in advance. And see what happened on Friday. The market basically went up to this level, made its high, and this is where we've come off here uh, this morning. So as you can see, we're locked limit down at the moment. So we'll be interested to see what happens when the markets open uh, a bit later on uh, today, Monday morning. So that's the position we are at the minute with our longer term charts in that we have longer term support on the Dow here with this major DP support level. So we're watching closely to see whether this does indeed uh, provide support. We might, we could well get another rally down into this, but the important thing is to see if this level actually holds. If it does, we might well get a bit more of a, a rally and that will be then to see what kind of rally unfolds here to see if we are now in a bear market that rally is then predicted to be a corrective kind of rally. The most common um, pattern in the corrective move is an ABC correction. So I'll be very interested to see if we get an ABC rally up here. If it doesn't and that level is then breached, well then we could get some more significant declines um, on the, the US markets and indeed the world markets. So this is a very important level 
to be looking at here on the Dow Jones over the coming week.